So I've started working a top-down sweater pattern. Though this is a paid pattern available on my blog, I want to take this opportunity to demonstrate some universal principles of top-down sweater knitting that might be helpful to you if you're working this or any other top-down knitted sweater pattern. So believe it or not, this little cuff here is going to become a sweater. <laughs> this is the neckline. So your head will come out this way and like I said, we'll knit from the top down. So mine and many other top-down sweater patterns will have you knit some sort of neckline. This is just a cuff, it may be a turtleneck or a cowl neck, and then your pattern may call for you to change to larger needles to knit the body of the sweater. This needle set is perfect for that. This is the Loopy Mango Three Musketeers. And what I love about interchangeable needles for top-down sweater knitting is now, in order to change to my larger needles, all I have to do is take off the right needle that I was working with, pop on the new larger needle, and now I can continue on. And once I've finished this row, I'll just swap this needle out for the other larger needle. How easy is that? So my pattern calls for me to knit six stitches in the new larger needle size, and then place a marker. My marker is a little bit smaller than my needle, but I'm gonna make it work. Then to knit 10 stitches, and place another marker. What this is doing is marking the spots in the pattern where you will do your raglan increases. In your pattern, it may be four markers, it may be more, but it'll probably be a multiple of four markers. And so for subsequent rounds, we'll increase at each one of these markers, and that's going to grow our sweater. The stitches between these markers will eventually become the top of the sleeve. The stitches between these markers will eventually become either the back or the front. So now you can knit around and around and increase for however many rows and stitches your pattern calls for. As my stitches start to grow, I may change to a larger cord size, which is another great thing about interchangeable needles when you're working a top-down sweater. You can also change to a longer cord length to accommodate your ever-growing stitches. And then you'll come to a point in the pattern where you're asked to separate out the sleeve stitches. So I'm going to work up to that point in my pattern and I'll meet you back here. Here I am at the point in my pattern where I need to separate out the sleeve stitches. An easy way to do this is with some scrap yarn. Your pattern will tell you to put an amount of stitches on hold. And for me, that's all of these stitches up to two before this marker. So I thread a tapestry needle with my scrap yarn and I'm going to thread it through all of the stitches. up to two before the marker like my pattern indicates. And now I can slip all of those stitches off of the left needle. And I'll know they're not going anywhere. And then to secure this scrap yarn, I'm going to cut it and just tie a little bow right here. And these stitches will be the sleeve of my sweater. Then my pattern tells me to knit these two stitches. And see, I can skip all of these sleeve stitches that we just took off of the needles. And I don't need this marker anymore. And now I will knit up to the next marker to show you how I put the other sleeve stitches on hold. I've knit up to and removed my next marker. And again, I can put all of these sleeve stitches up to two before the marker on hold. Just like before. I've thread those other sleeve stitches onto my scrap yarn, and then you can take all those stitches off of your needle. Trim your scrap yarn so that you can tie it in a little bow so that it stays out of the way, but it can always be undone later. And now let's see what we have in this crumpled mess of knitting. Ah, it's starting to look like a sweater, huh? So here's what we've done. The sleeve stitches are now on hold. We're not going to work those for now. And then all of these stitches in the center are now joined in the round on the needles that we were just working with. And you can see, you can just knit around and around now working the body of the sweater for as long as you want. And then it's very easy to just pick up the sleeve stitches to add the length that you want there. And you'll knit the body and the sleeves all the way down to the cuff. And that's how you place markers for raglan increases and how you separate out the sleeves of a top-down raglan sweater. I hope this video helps you with your next top-down raglan sweater pattern. I'll have a link to this specific pattern down below as well as a useful do-it-yourself top-down raglan calculator.
it's really cool. You just put in your yarn gauge and the size you want your sweater to be and it will tell you how many stitches to cast on in the beginning and to increase. It's a really useful tool if you want to make your own top-down raglan patterns. So uh, see you next time. Bye!